What's happening and welcome back to the FortiGate Lab series. I got that fire for you today. Lab number two, firewall policies. Basically, we're just going to be testing firewall policies. There's like four different exercises, but I'm going to break it down in like two exercises just for two exercises for like part one and then two exercises for part two just it says it should be able to be done in 25 minutes but you know doing labs anything can happen so with that being said let's get it we're going to jump right into it the first exercises we're going to be configuring firewall address objects and then then creating the uh firewall policies configuring those and applying the objects to those policies that we created and then exercise number two is pretty much testing the reordering of the firewall policies meaning if you're anything like me and you have some cisco background just how acl's process from top to bottom so do uh, fortigate firewall policies so we're going to test the reordering of those policies meaning moving those policies in a different order than they're currently at right now when we create the firewall policies and see what happens to that traffic by generating traffic from a client that is on the local summit. Let's get it. I already got that last set up for you. So we're already logged in here. And again, we're just going to move right through this. So if you're taking notes, the first step here is to create the firewall address object. So first step, firewall address object, you're going to go to policy and objects after you're logged into the GUI. Then you're going to go to addresses right here. You're going to go create new address. The one we're using today is local underscore subnet. Everything is default for this lab except for here. 1.0 slash 24. And if you don't remember from the last video, I'll take a pause for the cause real quick right here. Oh, I should have left that up. But here's the topology one more again for y'all. So local FortiGate, that's the GUI that I'm logged into. This is the local client that we're on right now um, for that subnet that we were just creating that firewall object against all right we'll fire that up for later on click ok here we see it's populated into that table right there so the next step here after that is to create the firewall policy here we go to firewall policy in the lab they want us to disable so we get used to disabling firewall policies they want us to disable the existing one which is full access which is pretty much allowing all traffic accepting everything that is coming to this FortiGate from the local subnet we're going to create new and this one is going to be called uh, internet internet sorry access and then incoming interface again port 3 port 1 this is all on that topology that I just showed you the source, however, is local subnet. Close. And destination is all. Close. Schedule always. Now the services that they want for the lab, all ICCM. All ICMP, HTTP, both this one and S. And they also want, sorry, DNS and SSH. So we'll do DNS. SSH, oops, one more, and SSH, SSH, and yep, close that, and we're going to accept all of those, this is all default, all default, all default right here, except for this, all sessions, generate that, enable this policy, we hit OK. So now the next step after that, of course, is to test the firewall policy. So it's all set up right here. We'll test it by going to google.com. Google.com. Open up another tab. KB.fortinet.com. Got another tab going. BBC.com. All right. And then to look at the logs, you're just going to right click on here and we're going to do a show matching logs. And as you see, the results section is showing you all the matching logs. 
for all of those sessions and tabs that we were creating coming from that local subnet because we're remember we're looking at that policy where we we configured what subnet we want this 48 to look at for traffic going to um, external websites such as google.com and the ones that we threw up on this tab bbc.com and everything so we tested that that was just exercise one and that one I feel like that was pretty straightforward um, and I just got used this is like my second or third time doing it so I'm just running right through it and I'm starting to feel something like a little for the gate you know engineer but pretty basic pretty simple we'll move on to exercise two which is we're just going to test reorder another firewall policy so to do that we're going to have to create a new firewall policy to test with so the new one that we're going to create we're going to go back up here policy and objects firewall policy and create new we're going to call this one block same incoming interface port 3 outgoing port 1 source again is going to be local subnet but more specific this time the destination is going to be let me get this guy in there so destination is Linux ETH1 which is the server see 10 200 sorry 10201.254 is the server and that topology that I showed you. Service is ping. We want to deny that. Close. Just more granular, right? And we want to log the violation traffic, enable this policy, make sure that's on. We're going to click OK. So now as we see, it's right here. So let's go test it since we have the policy, right? So boom. Just wanted to add real quick right here. If you watch my Cisco uh, CCNA playlist, uh, just the very first basic video that I put up about computer networking, basically is always that I learned was that you have to test, but always verify. Learned that from like the OG IT Keith Parker, shout out to him. But like I was saying, you always want to test and verify with everything that you're doing. That's what FortiGate is great about doing right now in this lab. I'm testing and I'm verifying everything. So right now we're gonna verify if this ping is gonna go through. We'll just do it right here. As you can see, I was already in here. And the ping is going right through, even though it's set to deny and everything, right? Go select the column right here, ID column, and it puts them all in order, the firewall policies, in numerical order. But if we reorder the policy, one, two, four, three, even though it's out of order, let's test it again, right? We're pinging that same IP address, but the ping fails this time. Why? Because we reordered the policies and we tested the reordering of the policies. Now we know that this FortiGate is processing the policies that way. So that's a good and quick and easy way to test the reordering of your policies in your FortiGate if you have to, for whatever reason, make sure that the how it's processing. I'm sure in the enterprise level, this, this policies list gets really big so just moving them around can help you test that and, and that was a great way to show it right here with those pings failing and then again what we learned from the earlier steps if you right click here show matching logs you could see those five pings failing right here you see that they all failed here as well that's another way to verify all of that so that's it basically just exercise number one and exercise number two all we did just to wrap this up give you a quick summary was we created a firewall address object which was a local subnet a whole subnet that we put in the object and then we created a firewall policy to apply to that object meaning what kind of rules do we want to do for this certain subnet and we tested that by going to the different websites and everything like that and it allowing that kind of traffic. And then we also tested the reordering of firewall policies by creating a whole new firewall policy. Just a simple one that block ping um, bought pings to a certain server on the network. 
and we did verify that it was processing them in order by reordering those firewall policies. Hopefully the whole video made sense. Hopefully you gave value. Again, if y'all feeling the content or if you're not, you know what I'm saying, please, you know what I'm saying, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. If you want me to do a whole different series if you're not feeling these labs, you don't want to learn about FortiGate. I'm really trying to build the community and, and help y'all out and share as much information. We could do other labs. I could throw up Cisco labs. I got GNS3, anything really. Um, cybersecurity labs. I'm down with all that Wi Fi cracking and everything. So, all those videos are coming. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for tapping in again. Once again, you already know. What's up with me? It's Ninja Vanish. Holla at your boy.